fishing a tournament on Lake Max and Cucky, May 2nd. Large mouth are coming up on the spawn. There's love in the air. Jimmy Wheeler, you ready to get your butt kicked? It's gonna happen. If you've ever found yourself fishing and you know the largemouth bass are just beginning to spawn, just starting, this video is for you. We all, and I get excited, I love bed fishing. I, I really did. I was hoping today would be a bed fishing fest because I think I would have done pretty good at it. It's one of my strengths. However, the first half of the day, they just were not locked onto those beds. Spent a couple hours trying and hoping and praying that they would come on the beds and start to eat. I could see their beds, but they were either swimming off or not going to the bed at all. If, and if, generally speaking, if you're if you're fishing for beds, you cast your bait to that bed and that fish swims off right away, it's not catchable. Now if it swims off, comes right back, it's a catchable fish. And uh, for the most of the morning, that just wasn't the case. He ain't big, but he's a keeper, I think. I think. Maybe not. These fish, and they're just very fickle. They're coming up on the beds. They're somewhat protective. They're mostly spooking off. I imagine another day or two, they'll be just really locked on. But right now, gosh dang, it's taking me three hours to get my first keeper. And it's not a big one of that. But it is a first. So let's, let's see if we can't rock and roll them though. So I made a good decision. I went out to the main lake, because those bed and large mouth bass were in the channels. And I went after the smallmouth, and it was, I tell you, it was great. I also want to shoot myself in the foot. Very first cast, I catch a smallmouth on the Alabama rig. Watch Gary Fry it! Gary Fry it! Ended up catching three, including my best fish. But the one that hurts me is the one that got off because I had a, I had another decent smallmouth on. This, this camera wasn't on. So I leaned down to hit the button and then a little slack got on and they come off. Oh, you stupid son of a gun. Not to say that would have made a difference to, to cashing or winning because there were three good bags of fish today. And out of those top three teams, or shall I say individuals, only one of them targeted the bedding largemouth. The other two were going after smallmouth, which are not spawning yet. So I used the Garmin perspective to, to find them. And you know, the funny thing was I could see them moving around. I knew while I was around the fish, I was able to stay on them, but they were definitely feeding at certain times. And I heard that from Jim and some of the other guys who caught smallmouth. They were not biting for an hour, hour and a half. And then suddenly they had a flurry of 30 or 40 minutes. And that's what I found. I had a flurry of about 40 minutes to catch the fish. And then that, that window ended. Luckily, when I went back into the channels, those fish were definitely behaving better. I mean, I say behaving, they were definitely more locked in on those beds. And what that means is they're going to get more aggressive. They're going to protect those beds with a, more of a reckless abandon, makes them more vulnerable to be caught. I've thrown this as a get. 
thrown this guy like 25 times. I just repositioned the boat, gave my bait a different angle, and he smoked it. So I was in the same area this morning, just fishing all these same beds. The bite is so much better now in the afternoon, and this is typical of bed fishing. Slow in the morning, and then as the day warms up, they get more protective of their nest, they get a little more settled on it. Starting to call up. Those fish are up in those lily pads with all the junk, and it makes it difficult to see them, or to at least see your bait and, and know when you get a bite. My drop shot rig is a 10 pound braid with a size 10 swivel to eight pound fluorocarbon. I was using a quarter ounce weight with a size or a one out a mosquito hook. Every fish I caught today came on a dream cycle by Strike King. It was a chartreuse color. And the reason I use that color is not really for the fish as much as it was for me. I was fishing dirt, dirty water and I wanted to be able to see my bait. Well, I didn't win, and worse yet, I lost to Jim Wheeler. Hey, give it up to my man, though. He had a great bag of smallmouth bass off this Lake Maxicucky in Culver, Indiana. I appreciate you tuning in. Till the next time, we're gonna see you on the water. <laughs>